Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. Hello. Welcome to our channel. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, how was it, ladies? Um, actually, this is my first time to see you guys in national pageants. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, can you tell us more about yourself first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, I'm Queen Glenny Makiran. I am representing the province of Capiz. I'm, I'm 25 years old, and I'm currently working as an executive assistant in an electric distribution utility in a little city. Wow. And I am somebody who has high passion on art. I love to sing, I love to dance, and I draw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's great. just like some of the gist about mm -hmm. me. Moping Adlao, my name is Iris Ramos. I'm a 26-year-old community social entrepreneur mm -hmm. who founded an egg farm during the pandemic. Oh, wow. uh, yes. I didn't know about that. I founded okay. an egg farm during <laughs> the pandemic to, as a response to the supply chain restriction that led to the lack of mm -hmm. sources of protein in our hometown during uh, the pandemic in 2022. Mm -hmm. I am from Eastern Salmar and I'm a proud Barai. <laughs> okay, so my question to you guys is just one for the both of you, yeah, okay? Yeah. Alright, so um, so since this is the first time that you are as well joining in the national pageant, correct? Yes, so, um, how How do you feel about competing with um, the mother, or I mean the married woman and of course a single woman? Um, actually, it is um, an amazing experience for us, for everybody, and for them as well, you know, mm -hmm. because it means that we're progressing into the mm -hmm. thing we call inclusivity, mm -hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, a married woman is, is a woman, mm -hmm. and we women has a lot of things to offer in the table, and mm -hmm. we are so happy that we are part of this batch. Mm -hmm. I have the same feelings with Shane. Yeah. I'm so happy to be a part of the batch that pioneers mm -hmm. inclusivity, that has all these, um, lovely women mm -hmm. who are represented from each of the province and from uh, mm -hmm. having different status mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. So I'm just so happy and we get to learn many things from mm -hmm. all of the experience mm -hmm. of the moms, of the veterans, of mm -hmm. the newbies. Mm -hmm. So we're just excited for the journey ahead. Amazing! So and one of the changes in the pageantry right now that we can actually uh, observe mm -hmm. is that um, even the pageant enthusiasts are looking for a substance and of course, mm -hmm. most in most particular, the educational attainment or educational mm -hmm. background of every candidate. Mm -hmm. What's your standpoint to that? I feel like all of us, uh, especially the women in the Miss Universe Philippines pageant, all our, all our candidates are achievers and accomplished in their own way. Mm -hmm. So I, I think what will make and break it is our personality and the way we will perform during the preliminaries and the finals night. Mm -hmm. uh, to begin with, I feel like all of the ladies that I am with for the Miss Universe 2023 um, fashion mm -hmm. are already stellar and accomplished mm -hmm. and there's nothing more that you can ask for from these mm -hmm. ladies. Yeah, and it's actually amazing because once you like bring somebody in this mm -hmm. universe, mm -hmm. you get to see that a Filipina is really somebody who can talk, mm -hmm. who can walk, and has a really great educational background. Mm -hmm. And you get to see like they they also have a lot a lot of things. Um, they have a lot of things that they really do care about. And it's just like so amazing, especially in this batch, though. Right. Like mm -hmm. I didn't really expect that I'm gonna be around girls with with a lot of classes. Mm -hmm. um, it's a melting pot. Exactly. That's, mm -hmm. that's just everything I get to say in regards to that. <laughs> Hashtag you know? inspirational Filipina. Yeah, very, yes. very. Small right. walks mm -hmm. of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why we were just like so happy that we had a her story because mm -hmm. you get to know each and every candidate, not just yeah. like the way she walked, the way she talked, but about mm -hmm. but also how she was raised. Story. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The story behind all of the success and the accomplished woman that you see. Mm -hmm. yes. That's great. And um, I believe that one of the characteristics uh, that the Miss Universe Philippines organization or even the Miss Universe organization per se is looking for someone who is transformational. Okay. If I may ask, what is a transformational woman for you and who would that be? Oh, mm -hmm. well, for me, I think a transformational woman is just like all of us, a person who's gone through ups and downs in their lives but has made pivotal decisions and choices mm -hmm. to um, 
make these ups and downs into something that would better not only yourself but also impact the lives of others. It's how you make it's what you make out of all of your experiences that makes you transformational. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It's, right? it's a transformational is somebody who's been through a lot of things in life mm -hmm. that they're just not hesitant to show everybody about that. What are the things that they, they learned with all of those experiences? And it's just so amazing. Just like what I've said earlier, like mm -hmm. we here, everybody is um, a transformational woman. Mm -hmm. Strengths and vulnerabilities Super. all coiled into Super. one yeah. would make a transformational woman. Mm -hmm. So you were glowing a while ago during the oh, hello, glow. during the fashion show. So, well, I have to be honest that all of you were really glowing right. as compared to when we first saw right. you during the fun. It was the final screening. <laughs> the was the final final screening. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we definitely the understand media, that. Yes, of the course. first media appearance of all of us. <laughs> we <laughs> definitely understand oh that, and God. you definitely. And this time around, you were actually glowing. Thank so you. Far, yep. far, far, far uh, behind <laughs> from what we have seen mm, before. It's been too Anyways, long. <laughs> what I'm trying to ask is that. What makes you girls glow? Um, I think, on, like on my part, like what made me glow is that, like maybe physically, it is because I think I knew where I look look better, mm -hmm. what thing suits me with all the trial and error, with all the activities that right. we've done, mm -hmm. and it's just that maybe throughout the process with everything that we've been doing, I knew like my strengths, mm -hmm. and that no matter what happens, whatever look I'm going to mm -hmm. give, like I should just be confident in myself and in my own skin. It's just like radiates outside, mm -hmm. and I think that was the main reason why we're all glowing. Mm -hmm. Not um, that's the same with me. I think it's a good mindset and the confidence and the belief in yourself that makes you glow. Because when you lack all of these, everything else breaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all like right. That. Like Thank that. you so much, Thank ladies. You so much, and Anna. it's really um, a pleasure and honor for Thank me you. to have you on our channel. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Hope you for bracing us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Audio jungle.